guys, today we're going to talk about the top five signs that your relationship might be in trouble. And the top five are this, when there's negativity in the relationship, when you find that you're spending more time apart from each other than together, when there's a lack of sexual interest or a loss of affection, when you start communicating about the business side of things as opposed to talking about the more intimate or creating emotional connection in the relationship, and when you feel like you're in a constant fight about nothing, or when there's a complete disconnect where you're really not talking about anything, not even like how's the weather. So I'm gonna go through and explain those top five. The first one is the negativity in the relationship. What does this mean? When there is a lot of negativity in the relationship, we find that there's a great disconnect coming. Dr. John Gottman talks about the four horsemen in a relationship. It's contempt, criticism, defensiveness, and stonewalling. And these are four ways in, we, in which we communicate in uh, a couple. And if we notice that all four of those are happening, or even just one, we really have to apply the antidotes to create more positivity in the relationship. Positivity in the relationship is giving your partner the benefit of the doubt, it's creating uh, intimate connections, it's creating a relationship climate of you know, kindness, compassion, empathy, affection, appreciation, admiration, playfulness, and humor. And so the four horsemen, you know, really, again, criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. If you notice one or all four of those things are happening, it's important to apply the antidotes. So uh, negativity in the relationship is also if there's a lot of, you know, we try to talk about one thing, like who's taking out the trash, and we end up in this huge fight, or every time we start to talk, we, we are leaving either more upset, more irritable, or we're just having a really hard time getting unstuck. So again, you know, the antidotes to the four horsemen are really just finding ways to state how you feel, using I statements. So that's the antidote to criticism, is I feel about what, this is what I need, or this is what I would appreciate. The antidote to defensiveness is taking responsibility for your part in it. The antidote to contempt is, you know, describing your own feelings. Don't assume the other partner's feelings or how they're going to respond. And also create a culture of appreciation. You know, um, find things that you appreciate about your partner every day. And then the antidote to stonewalling. Stonewalling is when we become so flooded with emotions that we quickly shut down and we go into fight or flight. So the antidote to stonewalling is to stop, take a break and um, physiologically sell Sue, so get your heart rate to come back down before you can enter into the conversation. So that's number one, when there is a lot of negativity in the relationship. <clears throat> step, you know, step two, another sign that your relationship is in trouble is when you notice that you're spending a lot of time apart from one another and you're not creating rituals of connection or Maybe you stopped going out on date night, you stopped texting each other throughout the day. It's, you know, or on the weekend, you'd rather have a girl's night or a guy's night than, um, you know, a couple's night or time together. Or it's even little subtle things like you used to sit together on the couch to watch your favorite show to now you're both, you know, on the opposite ends of the couch and you're both on your phones while your favorite show is on. So when you notice this pull, when you're kind of two individual people, living under the same house, a lot of times that's when, um, you know, it's a sign that your relationship's in trouble. Or if you find yourself at work more often, uh, or if you have kids, you find yourself wanting to do more things with the kids alone as opposed to doing it as a family. So the third sign that your relationship is in trouble is if there's a lack of sexual interest or affection. So if you notice you're not making as many attempts to initiate sex, or, you know, again, you're on that couch and you're both sitting in two different, you know, way far apart from another, as opposed to sitting together and cuddling. Or, you know, you're not holding hands as much when you're out. You're not kissing each other goodnight or kissing each other goodbye when you leave for the day. We're just giving each other hugs. 
you know, when there's not that desire there, it's a sign that your relationship's in trouble and you need to talk to one another about it or even find a therapist. The fourth sign that your relationship might be in trouble is when, when and if you're talking, you're only talking about the business side of your relationship. I know I've talked about, you know, creating couples meetings in a previous video where couples get kind of caught up in the talk of who's doing what and that's really the business side of things. Who's paying what bill, who's taking the kids, you know, to their activity and when, um, what's on the calendar and what's on the calendar is only like what activities are happening. And there's really no time to talk about the intimate side of your relationship. Times that we're gonna go on a date night, you know, those rituals that I've just talked about. When we just focus on the business side of our marriage, we do lose out on intimacy. We lose out on our intimate friendship. We lose out on that desire to want to connect uh, sexually. So it's really important that not only we talk about the business, but that we actually talk about the intimate side of our relationship, hopes, dreams, rituals, all of those things. And the final step, is, or the final, you know, number five, is if you find yourself that you're in a constant fight or you're just really disconnected, that you don't, you know, indifference is set in and you really don't want to talk to one another. And, you know, the constant fight sometimes is the only time that there's intimacy in the relationship because it's the only time that you guys are talking to one another. So the constant fight could be, again, you're talking about who's taking out the trash and all of a sudden you're in a big fight about that you're unsatisfied in this relationship. It, it goes that quickly. Um, and you're kind of in this constant state of irritation, irritability. You don't really want to be around each other. And the other part, the total disconnect or indifference. When there's indifference in the relationship as well as when there's contempt, you know, Dr. Gottman said contempt is the number one predictor of divorce or separation. When those two things are in the relationship, it is a sign that your relationship's in trouble. And, you know, I would contact your a local therapist to try and see if you can make the relationship work. Uh, disconnect and difference is when you really don't care. You know, you are two individual people living two individual lives and you're you're under the same roof. It's like you're not even good roommates, you're not even friends. And so, you know, this is why it's so important when, when you notice or if this is happening in your relationship that you contact a therapist to try and help you work through the indifference and figure out what's going on to see if the relationship is worth saving. So I wanted to go through these top five signs that your relationship is in trouble for you to know that if these are happening in your relationship, there's still help. There's some good resources. Dr. Gottman's book, What Makes Love Last, um, is a great one. Also, The Seven Principles to Making a Marriage Work is another great book. Where he, In both of those books, he goes through The Four Horsemen and The Antidotes. Please contact your local a local therapist or someone that you trust to kind of help you. Know that there's a lot of great resources. Also, check out my video, Six Ways to Nurture Your Relationship. Those are good tools that you can use in the here and now um, before you get into therapy to try and see if you can um, you know, bring back that intimate friendship or restore some connection in your relationship. Please feel free to comment below and also subscribe to my channel so you can get weekly updates on everything about relationships. Have a great day.